hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a factorial divided by 6 factorial is equals to 7 factorial and we solve this problem for all the values of a so here we need to find all uh, the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so i hope so you like this method and now we move towards the solution of this problem so here first we need to move this six factorial from left hand side to the right hand side it is divided by here when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by seven factorial and we get here seven factorial is multiplied by six factorial and now here uh, we solve this problem with the help of factorial definition so we know about that the definition of factorial is that this is 7 factorial we need to multiply this 7 up to 1 and we get here 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times of 1 and it is multiplied by this is 6 factorial and 6 factorial is equals to 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by uh, 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 okay this is the our 6 factorial and here we need to uh, rearranging some terms uh, to get the values of a and now here first we write all these values up to 1 here it will becomes first you have uh, 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 and now here uh, you see that this is 4 and 2 when we multiply this 2 with this 4 you get here 8 so this is 4 times 2 becomes 8 and we move this 8 in the front of this uh, uh, equation and here we get the remaining values are so here we get this is 6 5 and 3 so we get these three values and 1 okay so now we write this 6 as 3 multiplied by 2 this is and here we get this is 5 and at the last we get this is 3 so we get only these three values and here further in the next step we again rearranging terms so here first we write the values 8 up to 1 it will becomes 8 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 5 4 3 2 and 1 and here uh, we obtain when we multiply this 3 with this 3 you get here 9 so we get 3 times 3 becomes 9 and we write it here and after that we have this is 2 multiplied by 5 and 2 times 5 becomes here 10 so we write it here and now again you see that this is 10 times 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 this will becomes again factorial definition so after applying the factorial definition you see here this will becomes that 10 factorial and in the left hand side we have this is x factorial so here because our target is to find the value of x so that is this factorial sign is cancelled out by this factorial sign and we easily get the value of x is equals to 10 so this is our final answer of this question but now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of x is satisfied over given question statement or not so for this we need to uh, verify this value of x so that for verification of the values of x we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is a factorial divided by 6 factorial is equals to 7 factorial and here we need to substitute uh, sorry here in the left hand side we have a okay this is not x this is a so we can write a here so when you put this value of a here it will becomes uh, so this will be written as 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial is equals to 7 factorial okay so when you put this value of a it will be written as in this form and further in the next step we need more simplifications then now here we break this 10 as in this form so we write this we expand this 10 factorial up to the 6 factorial sign and it will be written as 
टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सेवन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स फैक्टोरियल एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स फैक्टोरियल इज इक्वल टू सेवन फैक्टोरियल and you see here this 6 factorial is cancelled out by this 6 factorial uh, and we get these are uh, 10 9 8 and 7 so here we again break all of these values this is 10 we write it as 2 times 5 becomes 10 this is 9 we write it as 3 times 3 becomes 9 this is 8 we write it as 2 times 4 becomes 8 and at the last we will get here 7 and in the right hand side is 7 factorial and we check that is our left hand side is also 7 factorial or not so here we need to again rearrange the terms and first we have this is 7 and further we need 6 so we multiply these 3 and 2 so 3 times 2 becomes here 6 and we have this is 5 we copy down here and this is our 4 we copy down here this is 3 we copy down here and this is our 2 and here we can write 1 and this is equals to 7 factorial so here you see that the, when you combine all of these terms it will becomes here 7 factorial is equals to 7 factorial so again you see that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of a is equals to 10 is also satisfied our given question statement so here we finally conclude about the solution set of the given question is that a is equals to 10. So this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.